Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Chris Wright. Of course, we'll be driving the 02 truck full time for Young's Motorsports in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. How's it going? Pretty good, Casey. Thanks for having me. All right. So, how did this get put together? Of course, a little um, uh, um, reuniting with Young's. Yeah. Um, now we just, I spoke to Tyler um, throughout last season, um, just kind of hanging out with them, you know, going to dinner and whatever. And we talked about doing something uh, for the 2023 season and uh, you know, the stars just kind of lined up, you know, come, you know, Phoenix of last year and said, Hey, you know, let's, let's run it back. So here we are. And uh, you know, we're all really, really excited to uh, be reunited once again. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, last year was a crazy year for you, but overall, what was the biggest thing that, you know, the biggest thing that you learned uh, last year heading into this year? Oh, man. Um, I'll put it to you like this. So I just got got off of uh, three or four races um, at New Smyrna Speed Weeks, and it was the first time I've been in a late model in two years. And the last time I ran late models was before any of my NASCAR stuff. And I got out of the car after the first session, and I was like, man, like, I feel like I know what I'm doing now, or at least I have a sense that I know what I'm doing right now. Um, and just that seat time that I got last year between the trucks and the Xfinity car and the Arca car a couple of times, um, it just, it helped me get like a better sense of where, where I am, what I'm supposed to be doing, um, and so forth. So I'm definitely a lot more comfortable going into this season than I have been in years past, if that makes sense. Yeah. And of course, um, you're entering the truck series is probably um, you look at all the competitive trucks that are out there. And we were talking before um, we started recording uh, there. This this field is going to be really, really competitive this year. A lot of teams have also stepped up their equipment, too. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, you know, you can't. You can't go with this, you know, 50 percent anymore. Um like I know back in, you know, 2018, 2019, you know, you could put together a okay effort and still finish top 20. Um, you know, if you're not trying hundred percent, you're going to go home and miss races. Uh, just, you know, seeing that last year and, you know, look at Norm Benning, you know, he hasn't run a race in quite a while um, just because of how competitive this field has really gotten. Um, you know, it's, I know the guys back at Young's, you know, we're working really hard and, they're working harder than they ever have before. And, you know, we're, we're trying to be a top 20 team, you know, and that, I think that would be a really respectable result given the field that there is today. I mean, you look at all the trucks that are, you know, underneath those big team banners like Tricon and KBM and GMS and Nice and Thor Sport and, you know, what have you, you know, you have 10, 12 trucks that can easily, easily win any race. You know, and then you start going back to your top 15 and top 20, and it's it's just going to be really tight this year. Yeah, for sure. Um, you really, you know, this is, um, you know, going full time um, with this team. Um, what's, it, what's it definitely going to be like, you know, working with Andrew Abbott? Of course, uh, TJ is your spotter again. Um, what's that been like? Yeah, so TJ and I, uh, we're both from Pittsburgh. So, uh, yeah, we kind of kicked that off. Um, but, uh, no, I love. Love having TJ up there on the roof uh, when I was at Brandon Built last year. Um, really gave me a better perspective of how to look at, look at the race and how to set up passes and just all the strategy, strategizing things that uh, he helped me kind of learn and get a feel for. Um, but Andrew Abbott, you know, he was my crew chief back at Sam Hunt in uh, 2021. And I had him for the Pocono Arca race at Young's last year. And uh, I know Andrew pretty well, so I'm excited to have him on the box and excited to work with him this year. Um, you know, Daytona's only in a couple days. Um, you're down in that area right now. What has it been like? Um, what's it going to be like just, um, you know, getting out there tomorrow on the track um, in the first uh, for the first practice session and then uh, we're going to go right into qualifying and then uh, we got the race on Friday? Yeah. Um, no, I mean – that first practice session at Daytona is, uh, I'm sure you've probably heard, but driving around here is pretty relaxing um, by yourself. You know, it's like a big wide open highway. Just put your foot down and just follow the road. Um, but I really think that gives the drivers, you know, a moment to kind of relax and kind of get cemented in their mind. That the season is here for sure. Um, 
you know, so the first few laps will be, you know, just by yourself, seeing what the truck can do by itself. And then uh, when you start drafting, that's when it kind of clicks in your mind that, you know, tomorrow, meaning Friday, um, you know, you're going to be wheel to wheel at 190 mile an hour, just trying to see the checkered flag. So it's, it's like a wake up call, but it's uh, it's definitely a good feeling to know that the season's uh, back underway for sure. Yeah. So going into this year, I know that Young's Motorsports over the years is really kind of um, you've got three good trucks this weekend. Of course, um, you, um, Spencer Boyd, of course, you both will be going full time. And then uh, uh, Derek Krause is going to be in the 20 truck. So you've got yep. three good chances of, you know, possibly getting a solid result. Maybe. And who knows if I, who knows, maybe even a win. Yeah, no, it's uh, I mean, these super speedway races, you know, it's not about who's got the fastest car or fastest truck. It's about who plays the game the best for sure. Um, I know Spencer and I, we were on the same game plan we were in 2021 and 2022. Um, you know, I, I, I hope Derek gets on, gets on board. I haven't spoken to Derek yet, but uh, I'm sure I will uh, just try to get on board with us and, you know, try to keep the strategy um, reasonably connected between all three trucks. Um, I know that I know my spotter and Spencer's spotter have been talking um, about what our game plan is for the race. But, uh, you know, I think if, all three trucks can end up being clean with, you know, five to go. I think we'll have a really good shot at getting uh, a win or top fives or whatever it is. Yeah, for sure. It should be, uh, should be exciting um, from that. All right, Chris Wright, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. Best of luck at Daytona on Friday. Thank you, Casey.